Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Simple Life 2 Genesis. This, once again, is my tutorial playthrough of this game. Um, I'm going to explain more about what I'm going to be doing today, but I'm going to run inside before any monsters spawn. When you start off this mod pack, The Simple Life 2, you get this thing in my hand, which is called the quest book. If you right-click with that, it will bring you to this screen, which is, again, the title. Uh, it says a little bit about it. But more importantly, it has down here quests. Now this area, um, you can see here on the left is basically the chapters of this quest book. You click on each individual one, and they'll have a list of tasks for you to complete. Um, you can see I've already done a lot of them, those are green. If you've completed them but haven't marked them off yet, they're blue. And things you don't have access to yet are gray. Um, if you go to any of these specifically and you click on them, You'll notice in the top left is a description of what you need to do for it, or about what this does, about the mod pack. On the right is some visual icons about what you need to do, and in the bottom left is the reward for doing those actions. The quest book is a very handy way to like get to know a mod pack well. What you might have seen last time is whenever I was opening that, I wasn't always using the quest book in my hand. That is because there's also a key you can hit to open up the quest book. For my game, I assign that to be the period key. So whenever I hit the period key, the quest book opens up. Ta-da! Easy peasy. One of the next things I wanted to look at real quick was a simple overview of Tinker's Construct. I'm not going to start going into it a lot right now because it can get a little bit deeper. However, I'm going to show you some just some basics on Tinker's Construct. So, one of the handy things with that is they give you this book, Materials and You. If you look at it and open up the book, you can see a couple of tabs here in this area, Tools. It explains a lot of the different tools that you have in this mod pack in Tinker's Construct. It's pretty basic stuff. You things like pickaxes, shovels, hatchets, mitex. We also get a little bit more complicated like scythes and hammers and excavators. Um, for each of these tools, you need parts to build it. And for each of those parts, depending on what you use to make it, it will have various attributes. Over here in tool materials, you can see how things add to its durability, how things add to its mining speed. Each of these different parts has a different individual effect. So for the example this time, I'm going to grab some wood, and I have some patterns already. I'm going to put the patterns in here. This is the stencil table. If you put patterns in the stencil table, you can select these patterns on the left, and then you can make uh, a pattern for those each individual part. So for instance, I'm going to make the hatchet this time. For that one, you need a tool rod pattern, you need a binding pattern, and you need a uh, axe head pattern. So I'll put those guys together. Uh, next up, I'm going to click over... There's two ways you can do that. You can either select it from up here, or you can go to the thing itself. I'm going to go to the part builder, this one right here. In this one, you want to give it a couple of materials, and then you want to select your pattern. With that done, you can actually make a part to your tool. So I'm going to make the axe head, I'm going to make the tool rod, and I'm going to make the binding. Lastly, I'm going to come to the tool station, this tab up here, and I'm going to select hatchet, and I'm going to put in all the different parts. In this pa mod pack, you can hold shift and left click to do that quickly. So there you go. With all those parts together, I can create a wooden hatchet. If I wanted to be fancy with it, I could name it something like axe up here. That's not creative, but you can name it if you want to. For now though, I think I'm going to leave it just as a wooden hatchet. And with that, I have made a Tinker's Construct wooden hatchet. The good thing about this one is two different things. A, if you ever use this tool, all this tool's durability, it won't actually break, it won't actually disappear. It'll still be in your inventory, you just won't be able to use it. If you want to use it again, you can come back and simply use some wooden planks to repair it. Um, I can show you that one later. Also, if you want a better hatchet, you don't have to make a new hatchet, you just have to make new parts for this one. Also, I believe in this mod pack specifically, as you use them, you level up your tools, which means that you can add more modifiers on later. Again, I won't really be doing that today, but that is something I can do in the future. Within this mod pack, there is a mod that allows you to create a little village. 
And for that, I could create a little village in the area I am right now, but it is very hilly. And I don't think that would be necessarily the best place for that. So, my plan is that I believe that there is a plain or a grassland nearby. I think I'm going to go try to find that and set up my house and my town there. So, I'm going to be moving shop here very soon. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the important things here, and then I'm going to go find out that plains. Another thing this mod pack starts out with is this thing called a nature's compass. Now, for the usual compass, it like points towards the spawn point. It points towards where you originally spawned in the world. This one, however, has an extra feature. If you right-click on it, you'll notice this li list of locations. And you can use this list of locations to find any specific place. Let's say if I wanted to find a desert. I simply look up desert in this list. There you go. I hit search, and then suddenly this thing is pointing towards the desert. Even further, you can see in the top left, it says the distance, it says the coordinates. It gives you everything you need. If you don't want to find that place anymore, if you want it to point back towards the spawn point, you can shift right click it and it will reset itself. You can see over here that there's the plains. I believe that would be a nice flat area to start a town in. So I'm going to search for that and the next thing I'll do is go towards it. The plains is in that direction. Okay, another mod that this mod pack has is something called iron backpacks. Um, you can see that the mod pack starts you off with one. Uh, it's a basic backpack. Um, and this one is a little bit unique. It's basically just a chest that you can put on your back. You see it's a little bit smaller, but this thing has two different good things with that it has going for it. A, it's you can open it anywhere, so unlike a chest where you have to place in the world, this one you can carry on you. But furthermore, more than that, you actually have two different keys that you can use. You, I had to reassign these keys because they were already double assigned to something else. But for me, I assigned it so that if you hit V, it'll equip the backpack. And then you can hit V again to take it back out. And if you have the backpack equipped, you can hit C to open the backpack whenever. So if I ever need to use this, I can just hit C to open it. So it's a little bit of extra storage. I want to say as well, yep, and also you can see right there that it actually is a on your back in game. So it's a nice little touch that. see that my axe just broke. Now this is a good place to show off what this is. So if you put the tool day station down, like that, if you put the broken at hatchet inside, you can use the oak planks to make a new, uh, you can fix your axe. So there you go. We've made our ways to the plains, and one of my next goals for this place is to build my own house and to start building the town that the villagers will live in. But I think I'm going to do that in the next part of the video. I think that's good. we'll do it all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it has been instructive. If you have enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. Either way, I hope you have a great day, um, and for now, I will say goodbye.